Hey everyone, Coach Dave here with Harbor Park CrossFit. I'm here today to give you three tips to string together more toast bar or even to get your first couple. So the very first tip that I can give you is we want to remember that toast bar involves a kip and not just swinging. Okay, and what the difference between those two are is a kip is an arc body and a hollow body hold on the bar that you can have control over. So if I were to say stop, you can stop the swing controlled. Whereas a swing would be just swinging uncontrollably and having no control over that. Okay, so I'm gonna demonstrate the two. So here we go with a kip. So it's very controlled with that core. And if I were to say stop, I can stop it. Swinging on the other hand is more coming from the legs and I have no control over that. If you were to say stop, I'm still kind of swinging and there's not much control there. Okay, so there's the difference. Tip number two is involving your lats. You really need to get the lats involved on a toast bar because you need to create the tension in the bar to be able to get back far enough to be able to kick it. So we need to think about when we're pulling, we gotta pull down on that bar, so we're engaging those lats, which allows us to get further back and then think about bringing those, the bar and the hands to, towards our toes. Kind of creates a distance or closes the distance for our toes to be able to touch it. And if I don't have my lats turned on, the difference is gonna be I go back into that swing position. And if we're looking at the bar, if my lats are engaged, when I push down on that bar and I engage the lats in my core, my hips are gonna be slightly in line with this upright or they're going to be further behind. Okay, that's what we need. If I don't or I lose tension with my lats or I don't engage them, the tendency is gonna be my hips are gonna swing back underneath and then they're gonna be out in front of the bar. If they're out in front of the bar, you don't have enough tension and you're not gonna be able to continuously uh, pull them out in, in by doing a kip, okay? So you're not gonna be able to continue doing one, two, three, four, five, and so on because the hips are out here and then you're just swinging uncontrollably and then you don't have control over that swing. All right, so just to demonstrate that, I will have a controlled kip. So here we go in the kip. So if you watched, you were able to see that my hips were right about here and my lats were engaged the entire time. It's going to be pretty difficult for me to demonstrate uh, not turning on, my, turning on my lats and swinging, so uh, just bear with me. I'll do my best. So if I'm swinging, you're going to see that the hips, I have no lats turned on. I'm just thinking about putting the toes up there. I have no swing and my hips are tucking underneath my body and are in front of that bar. So making sure you turn on those lats, pull down on that bar, keep them engaged. That's gonna allow your hips to come back into that position. All right, tip number three that I can give you today is remembering when you hit the bar with your toes, don't just let the feet fall straight down, okay? You need to create enough momentum, but you need to get back into your arc hold okay so it's remember a kip is a hollow body into an arc body and that's the kip so I need to get back to that position so as soon as I come through and touch the bar I'm coming into that hollow body position I'm closing it I'm gonna touch that bar and then I'm gonna come back into that arc body position and I have to get back to those positions if I just hit the bar and drop my feet straight down then I'm gonna go into a swing and I have no control over it, okay? So watch my positions as I swing on the kip. This is a proper toast bar. Okay, so I created those two positions, the arc and the hollow. If I send my feet straight down, I'm gonna again go into a swing and I have no momentum. Here we go, the three tips today. Remember, we want a, a kip, not a swing. So maintaining the tension on that, and remember it comes from the shoulders, and we want to make the arc and the hollow position, okay? Tip number two, 
Engage your lats, hold down on that bar. Make sure the hips get sent back into that hollow body position. And then we're gonna come up with the toes. And then tip number three is to send the feet back behind you. So we're in that arc position. And then we come through and we close. I hope that this video is helpful to you guys. Um, I'd like to see a couple of you guys get your toes to bar finally. Just remember it's a lot of practice, but also if you can follow these tips, hopefully you'll be able to get it. Good luck guys.